All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the mechanical engineering tier list. So these are the mechanical engineering classes, bro. I got to go to the bus in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to get this tier list done real quick. But we got all of these classes that I had to take. I did take all of these classes, or I'm taking some of them right now. So I do have the ability to talk about all of them in my experience. So I go to Virginia Tech. I do the mechanical engineering program there. And some of these classes were fucking stupid. And we're just going to talk about them. So Calc 1, uh, I didn't actually take Calc 1 at uh, college. I got credit for it because I took the AP exam. I took Calc BC in high school and I did pass it with a four. So I did get Calc 1 and Calc 2 credit. But in my experience, Calc 1 was pretty chill. It's pretty easy, dude. It, when I did it in high school, but uh, when I talk about in college, Calc 1, I heard Calc 1 is like pretty chill. It's not that bad, but I would guess it's like in the B tier. Calc 2 is an absolute shithole. I remember I keep hearing nightmares about Calc 2 in my college and calc 2 is fucking hard you gotta do a bunch of stupid integrals and shit um no i ain't having none of that bro calc 2 f tier calc 3 i took calc 3 actually in uh college and i did it online in my experience calc 3 was the same difficulty as calc 2 but i liked how calc 3 was like done i really like calc 3 i think i got like a b or something in it or b minus i don't know but it was pretty chill i like calc 3 it was pretty solid i'll give calc 3 an a tier chem one so people like to shit on chem one and they think it's really bad honestly they give you a lot of homework and like these knowledge checks and like some homeworks but it's not that bad it's not that hard but they do give you a lot of work in chem in my experience but it was pretty chill i think i got like a b plus in it but yeah chem one pretty solid class i would give it like like a b tier circuits dude fuck circuits man i fucking hate that class oh my god i had to take a circuits class called electric um applied electrical theory dude that class was so fucking bad bro my teacher was some chinese motherfucker named show you young young and <laughs> he was fucking teaching the shit right and i'm like sitting with my friend and like we have like these quizzes every class and these quizzes are fucking stupid bro and, like he's so bad at teaching this shit and he's like some like kind of like eh, like some nerd motherfucker and he's like trying to teach us the circuits and shit and like it's cool and all right in class like, we're, i'm like thinking okay it's not that bad but then when we get the fucking homework those homeworks are like 20 questions long this shit takes hours motherfucker and like i gotta do this shit on canvas quizzes and it's in multiple choice answers dude we get two attempts for each homework and i'm literally guessing on the first round and then on the second round i literally fucking like see what i got wrong and then take another guess and sometimes that actually works and i get credit for that homework and that's what i did but then when it comes exam time i almost fucking failed that shit bro i don't know how i passed this class i got a c plus in it but they got a fucking fat curve that class fucking suck ass dude oh my god bro don't even get me started on the fucking labs bro the labs in that class fucking sucked bro because i had to get like a multimeter to like measure currents and amplitude in my fucking circus and shit and the fucking multimeter they gave us don't even fucking work so i had to go to the fucking ta for so many times just to fucking fix my shit dude this class fucking sucks f tier circuit sucks ass don't oh my god bro i if you have to take this class bro i'm so sorry for you differential equations i thought differential equations are pretty chill i got like a c in it because i kind of trolled in the end but differential equations i like the class uh when i took it it was only like not that much homework but differential equations pretty chill i'll give it like an a tier mechanical design the mechanical design my teacher was fucking amazing bro the labs are fun uh, the labs, like the lab reports were kind of like, like a little worked here and there, but the class was fucking awesome. Everyone got like super good grades because the class is, is well made in my fucking curriculum, bro. S tier. Dynamics. Do dynamics. Uh, when I took dynamics, um, the fucking class was so bad, bro. When I first took exam dynamics, my first exam was a 40%. I dropped that class because I fucking did so bad. And like the teacher was some old motherfucker trying to teach the shit on the homework. But the thing is, is that when we try to do the homework, they it's literally the exact same as they did in the lecture notes. So I'm literally copying that shit. So I'm not even learning how to do it. And when exam came, exam time came, I fucking absolutely fucking bombed that shit, bro. I did so bad. I had to drop that class. I had to actually take it over the summer. And the summer class was way better, bro. That class, when I did it in the summer, it's a lot easier. Uh, but the actual class at my school was fucking ass, bro. I would not recommend that shit. Absolute F tier. Dynamics, we already talked about that. Oh, wait, no, this, isn't this vibrations? Oh, no, no, this is vibrations. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Um, so vibrations, so this is dynamics. 
vibrations when i took it my teacher he taught it like a fucking grad class and his handwriting was some absolute doo-doo dog shit bro it looked like you were trying to fucking decipher hieroglyphics for the first time and motherfuckers were trying to read with the rosetta stone in egypt and that shit looked so fucking bad and i didn't even go to class anymore because the class was so fucking hard and then when we did the homework it's like some weird google gaga some weird four-year series transform shit bro i don't even know bro. but that class was so weird but the thing is what's cool about the homework is that they were completion and he actually made it towards the end where homework was like 55 percent your grade and then the rest is like test and he curved the test fucking crazy bro because everybody was failing that shit i got a b plus in it somehow but i did come on way with an understanding of vibrations but vibration is cool uh the class though i'll give a c tier it's not f because i actually passed it i don't know what the fuck that is bro i ain't gonna lie en1 i guess it's economics i don't know what that is en2 i don't know what that is heat transfer he transferred my teacher. He was honestly, I had him for fluid mechanics and he was an absolute W in fluid mechanics. But in heat transfer, he was a fucking L because he didn't really teach it that well. I got like a B plus in it somehow though. I don't even fucking know how. Heat transfer, um, I wouldn't really recommend. I thought the class was like chill, but I think I learned, I didn't really learn a lot in that class, honestly. My, cl my teacher was kind of not that great at teaching it because he was like, all right guys, here's a problem and here's like, I'm going to solve it for you. I don't know. It was kind of hard. I would give heat transfer like a B tier. But it was I. I got a B plus in it. Uh, linear algebra. Linear algebra was pretty cool, honestly. I like linear algebra because it really exposed me to like a lot of math. I did it over the summer and linear algebra was so fucking fun, bro. Um, I would give linear algebra like an A tier. It was really solid. I really liked it uh manufacturing dude this class was so fucking fun um we go into a lab and we literally do like like actual hands-on engineering stuff so we were like doing welding and like working on machinery dude that class was so fun s tier and then we got material science material science was oh my god bro that class i did it online and it was cool and all the teacher was fucking awesome but the class was yeah it was it was honestly really solid material science is a tier controls dude controls was so fucking my teacher was like some fat motherfucker, bro. But anyways, I was taking that class and dude, the class was fucking hard as shit. When I came to exams, I don't even know how I passed controls, dude. That shit was hard as shit. And like when he's teaching it, like you can barely hear him. Uh, and, ha and how the actual class was designed. The homeworks were fucking hard. I don't know. But I would give it like a B here. It's honestly not that bad. Mechanics and materials. I don't know what that is. Numerical methods. Dude, numerical methods is a MATLAB class. The first time I took it, it was fucking horrible. But the second time, it was all right. But it was the same class. But as a class, numerical methods, it wasn't really that hard. But at the same time, it was fucking stupid the way it was designed. Because, like, they have you in a lecture and they're, like, trying to explain this MATLAB code to you. No. Numerical methods is D tier. I don't think it's an F because I actually passed it the second time around because I had to drop it the first time and I took it again and it got an A minus and that was fucking fire. Physics one, I took physics one over to or over online and I did take AP physics before so I already knew like some of the shit but I failed the fucking exam. So physics one was pretty chill but how the class was actually oriented, I think it was pretty solid honestly. I think it was like same tier as Cal, uh, chem. I'll give it a B tier. Physics two. Physics 2 was fucking horrible, dude. That class was so ass because my teacher is, again, another Chinese motherfucker. He's looking on the fucking board in the front, and he's like, all right, guys, this is what you got to do, this, this, and this, and that. And the class, it, it was not good, bro. The homework's fucking sucked. The quizzes sucked. Dude, this class was an L. I'll give this class, like, a D. Uh, senior design. I'm in senior design right now. Right now, senior design is really not really that fucking cool because uh, the class is not really organized that well because there's some hidden assignments and shit, and... Uh, but like the actual experience of like getting for team and like actually talking about some design shit is pretty cool I'll give senior design a tier right now Statics statics was fucking awesome. My teacher was amazing, bro. He was an absolute W in statics It's really cool because you're talking about Like actually engineering stuff like force balances and my teacher was an absolute W He taught that shit like a fucking master tier um, S tier but I got a C plus in it, but I don't fucking care. Professional development, that class fucking sucked ass, bro. Oh my God, bro. My teacher, he was like some fucking motherfucker that was teaching us all this shit, but like, he didn't give a fuck, bro. That class fucking sucked, D tier. Statistics, my statistics teacher, I stopped going because it was like an ADM or something, but I stopped going midway through the class because it was fucking boring as shit. But the class was I, right. I'll give like a C tier. Thermo, my thermal teacher was pretty cool. Um, I would give this an A tier, honestly. It was really solid thermodynamics. I somehow passed because I didn't really like understand that class very well, but it was pretty cool. I'll give it an A tier.
chem 2 i did not take that thermal 2 i did not take that fluid mechanics i fucking love fluids man it's one of my favorite classes my favorite curriculum my teacher was an absolute w as well i got to get an s here bro mechanics i'm gonna guess this is deforms deforms again it was the same teacher as statics and you already know what i feel about statics teacher so that's an s tier guys so i don't know what the fuck these other four is but this is my tier list for mechanical engineering courses and um yeah let me know go let me know what you guys think about it and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and see ya